Hi. Hi. Guess what? What? We got a thing. Thing? Do you want to show the thing? Sure. Whoa. Wow. Come on. This is Cutie. Our home. Come in. Join me. We'll start in the back. This is where we sit. And we can have dinner here. And this is where we put our bedding. Because this turns into a bed. So wow. here and here, <laughs> our storage. And they're nice, nice and snug so that nothing comes out. People like to pull on these and they think that they're locked, but they're not. They just, so that nothing falls out when we're moving. There's electric right here that we can plug into if we need to charge something or for, you know, kitchen, kitchenery things. There's some nice little pockets right here and underneath this as well. There's some pockets here we can put some stuff in. We'll probably find a better place to put this. Um, so this is the kitchen. Bedroom, dining room, kitchen. So here's a microwave. You wanna come look inside this because it's kinda cool. It has coils up here so that you can use it as if it is an oven. And then this is stovetop. We got some really good erasers cooking right now for dinner. Just kidding, they're there so that it doesn't, so that it doesn't move around when we're driving. So there's that, and this is original. This came in, in the cutie, as did this and this. Um, the person that had it before us, there was a bunch of water damage, so he redid all of this, which is nice, because it's just a lot nicer. It was carpet, kind of like this, but that's ugly. So he did all, redid all of that because of the water damage and then also took all of this out um, and rebuilt this and put in a newer fridge. This is a bigger fridge than was originally in this. Um, it has a little lock so that we can keep it open. It doesn't get moist. Um, there you go, basic fridge. All the fun stuff. And then in here is all of the water stuff which we also have our camp chairs in there right now and a trash can. And I'm sure we'll find lots of other stuff to put in there because there's still a lot of space in there. Um, obviously nothing we want to cook with or anything like that. This is all, we can put magnets there and stuff and I don't know if we'll put spices there. We don't usually use a whole lot of spices. So then this is the closet. And on this side, there's a whole bunch of buttons and stuff. Craig will show you all of that later because I don't quite understand it all yet. This is the closet. So, Right now I have all of my summertime stuff in there and we need to get, we're gonna get smaller hangers because these ones take up a lot of space. Um, there's some hooks here. We might possibly put more hooks there depending on how much we need. We don't really have a lot of clothes so that's perfect space for us. There's space under there. Let's move to the doorway slash bathroom. Welcome to our doorway and bathroom. So here is the bathroom. We have a basic RV toilet here. We are going to put a compost toilet in so that we don't have to use our water when we're going to the bathroom. Um, hang stuff here, toilet paper goes here. You've got your medicine cabinet here. There's a bathroom sink here. So after you go to your bathroom, you wash your hands. There is no drainage because you just lift it like this and the water goes down to that drain. So when you lift the sink, it goes down to that drain. Because this is also your shower. And I know you're thinking, that looks pretty small. How are you gonna shower in here? This will be a comfortable shower, but let me show you. You just twist these little knobs here and pull. Wow, I know what you're thinking. That was cool. So now that we've pulled it out, there's so much more space to shower in here. See? 
So then this ventilates, you would pop this open and turn the fan on. So it'll pull all of the humidity out so that it's not staying in the RV. And then also where I'm standing here, there should be a little tub or insert. I don't know what you want to call it. We have that piece. We just don't have it inserted right now because once it's inserted, it has to be there all the time. So when this is pushed in, I would still be standing up taller because it would still, it would always be there. So we're trying to figure out if we're going to use the shower, how we're going to do that, what we're going to put in there. We have plenty of places to shower. We don't need to shower right now. Who needs a shower? Who needs a shower? I only shower three times a week anyways. Craig obsessively showers every single Craig morning. Craig showers every day. So moving into extra space lounge area. In this space, we have the, let's start top to bottom, more storage. These are just like the ones back there. Got to tug on them a little bit to open them up. Keep stuff stored right there. We have a nice little seat right here. I'll, I'll see you. Ooh, wrong way. Buttons. Okay, there we go. So you just turn it and then this leans whichever way you want. And this little guy pops out a footrest. So I can sit nice and comfortably right here, read a book, take a nap, hang out with my friends that are standing in the bedroom living room area where you're standing now. This is a great little, little insert. And then there's this. It's got three nice drawers here, one here, one here, small one here. And then there's also, we have our tent down there and we like to call that the guest room. So we have our guest room tightly stored away so that when we have guests, they can come sleep in our tent. This is where our table is. Um, when you pull this out, you can then access your broom, your mop, anything else you would like to use, um, place there for cleaning or whatever. And then just make sure that's safe back there. This guy stays in there nice and securely when you're driving. You just pull them out, you pull this leg out, nice and smooth there. Put this down. And then there's little knobs here that insert here. But so basically there's your kitchen table. <laughs> All right, let's put this away now. Okay, now that you've seen the kitchen table area, um, come with me to the front and on the way there, I'm sure you noticed we have cat litter over here and a cat backpack over here because we also are going to have our two cats living with us in this RV. This is the cab area. So when you're driving, it's kind of like driving a bus. Yeah, you gotta turn like this. It's a good time up here. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically all I got for you. They inserted a CD player, got all your stuff here your windshield washer, your auxiliary start. This is a cool thing because, so there's a battery up front in the engine obviously, and then there's also a battery right behind me underneath for the Winnebago part of it. So when you're driving, that battery is charging that battery. But when you turn it off, that battery will never pull from that battery unless if you hit the auxiliary start, it'll allow that battery to pull from that one to start it. So if you leave your headlights on and that battery gets drained, you hit auxiliary start here and that battery will allow that one to pull just enough juice to start it up. And then you just turn it back off and then they don't pull from each other. But that one will always charge that one. Some USB ports here. This is to circulate the heat when it is going, you know, so it's just pulling from inside and not pulling the air from the outside, just like any other regular vehicle. You got your rear heat. It'll push those from the heater back there that I showed you earlier. This is your overhead, you know, your regular heating and cooling systems here. All the fun stuff of a regular vehicle. So that's it. Now let's go check out the outside with Craig. This is where the generator goes or should go. Um, the generator, there's something wrong with the fuel pump, which could be either 
The fuel pump seems fine, but there might be something wrong with the fuel line, so we need to figure that out. So that's one of the things we're going to be working on. Um, right now, we haven't had any need for the generator because everything, if you come back here, will pull off of a 15 amp, can you see that? Everything will pull off of a 15 amp extension cord, so as long as we're near someone that has electricity, we can plug in that way. Um, and then it has, you know, the typical RV electric in, in here. We don't really use that much though because of this, which that's one of those things. The guy that owned this before us did a ton of work to it um, and made it a lot more accessible for someone who's just like kind of casually using it, which is nice because for us, if we're living in it, um, it just takes care of a lot of those little problems. I think when we fix this, we're going to put a lock on here because I'm always worried about people messing with the generator. On the other side, we have our carrying rack, which will be nice to carry the bikes in. We also have in here spare tire. This, which never likes to play nice. is our propane, which runs the heat. It, it will run the, the refrigerator if the refrigerator is not running off of um, electric and it'll run the hot water. Right now we have it off just because we haven't been living in there so we didn't want it just running the whole time. And as you can see, there's a few little body pieces on the outside. They're not a big deal, but we're gonna have to find some replacements for those. Actually, let me show you this first. Obviously we have these out here. And then this is cool. It's outdoor water. So we want to, we can use that to fill things up outside or take a shower or whatever. If you'll join me inside. I have a few things to explain that Rachel had trouble explaining. <laughs> like this. Uh, under here, we have our hot water tank, which um, is currently broken. We're gonna have to work on fixing that. And then we also have the generator that I showed you from the outside. That whole system um, and a big portion of the electrical system runs through here. So this under here is currently a work in progress. Over here, we have our water tank. That's just the regular water tank. The issue right now is that this water tank is connected to the hot water and because the hot water is broken, we need to bypass the hot water tank until we get that fixed so that we can use water in here. I don't know off the top of my head how big the water tank is, but as you can see, it's a pretty decent sized water tank. Um, and there's actually a little bit of extra storage in there. And like Rachel said, there's seat belts on these seats, which is nice. Over here, we have the typical uh, you know, battery, fresh water, obviously all of these are gonna, this is, that's the propane, that's the lowest. We have a water pump off right now. Generator will start. No, no it won't. <laughs> the generator's not working, obviously. Uh, this is the thermostat which connects to the propane heat. This is the thermostat that connects to the propane heat and up here is our carbon monoxide detector which is always good so you don't die. Dying's bad. We have an AC unit up here which is a relatively new AC unit. We haven't used it at all. Um, we don't use a lot of AC. Uh, I guess it's because we're from the north. We don't really <laughs> use AC like ever. Um, maybe if we go travel down south we'll use this more but right now we haven't even really turned it on, so. Our uh, stove that Rachel showed you runs off propane. She didn't mention that. I think that might be it. <laughs> so the things that we're, we're gonna work on, which are kind of the big projects over the next couple months, as we save up money and get the time to do these things, because we really only have time on the weekends to work on these, um, is the Compost toilet, we're gonna to take this toilet out, put a compost toilet in, which will be nice. Um, hot water tank, obviously, we need to get that fixed or bypassed at least. I don't know how much hot water we're gonna be using, so it might be easier just to bypass it, not worry about paying for that until later. The um, 
roof. We have a little bit of space up there. If we're gonna do solar, uh, which is pretty standard for a lot of people to do that, just to supplement the electricity that we get from the battery. Um, we have this TV antenna, which I'm gonna modify to be a extender for our wireless internet, which is gonna be a big deal because both of us do a lot of stuff. I do a lot of work online. The issue with the roof is that there's not a lot of space up there and it can't hold a lot of weight. So we can't really put very big solar panels. So we're probably gonna put um, the flexible solar panels up there. What other projects do we have? I feel like we have another project. Oh, currently the heat slash AC up front, the fan died on it. So we have to fix that. There's an oil leak, which we gotta figure out where the heck that's coming from. But besides that, the chassis, which is a Eurovan, a Volkswagen Eurovan. It runs really nice. It's crazy how well this thing turns. And it's about 125,000 miles, which for that type of vehicle is like a decent amount. You know, it's it's not a small amount of miles, but it should hold up for quite a while. I'm pretty excited to, you know, get to work on this. So thanks for joining us in our RV tour. Let us know uh, in the comments what stuff that you want to see us um, working on. If there's anything that's interesting to you. If you have any inputs for us, let us know. We're pretty new at this. If we got anything wrong, let us know. <laughs> I'm sure we did. I'm sure there's <laughs> I'm something. I'm sure I did. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's something <laughs> that they're like, what? That doesn't make any sense at all. So. If you have any more questions either, you know, if we didn't explain something or if you saw something and we're just like, what's that? But we didn't talk about it, ask us. Also, if you have questions about, you know, what we're doing, what we're, how we're gonna live in it, how we're gonna work, those kind of things, we'll probably make some videos on that because we're still figuring all that stuff out. You know, we have ideas, but currently, we're pretty committed to the jobs we have locally, so I don't think we're gonna be traveling too much. We're probably gonna travel like weekend travel a lot, but that's gonna give us a nice period of a couple years to transition and be able to learn how to travel without having to completely just like dive in. Yeah. Also, we'll be able to keep making money as we do that, so should be an exciting journey. Woo! Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.